Hey, thanks for watching. This is Be Better Golf, and I'm here with Monty Scheinbloom at No Bogies Golf, where we're talking about people do certain things, Monty, in their life that are like, don't seem like, golf seems very hard sometimes, you know, but they, there are certain things that they do in their life that can look like super athletic, and you'd be like, man, I'd love to pick out the way I, let's say, like, the way I shovel like a pile of dirt and the way that I go like ice skating and the way that I like maybe like five different sure, things sure. and mash those things. One thing one guy said in a YouTube comment uh, on one of the videos that I put up was some, some pro, I'm not sure who. So you gotta realize that golf is a pastoral sport. It was a bunch of ancient farmers that came up with it. So you gotta think about how did ancient farmers do their work? So I started looking up like uh, there's a farm in Ireland where they freeze the year at like 1900, right? And they still only farm as if it's like 1900, right? So you look at the stuff they do and they got the reaper out and we've seen co sure. coaches with the, with the, the reaper, the scythe. And then 90% uh, of their work a certain type of year is like literally like shoveling manure. So they're going boom like this and they're throwing it onto a, onto a tractor that the horses are pulling, right? It's been sitting there for like 18 months, like, you know. But everything they do on the farm, I, know, I started to think like, yeah, everything. I never see any farm, farm job, even when they're um, like hammering. Right. It's always split grip. So, and, and if you watch in slow motion uh, those things, you know, go frame by frame and that stuff, these uh, farmers look extremely athletic when they're, when they're doing any of this stuff. Correct. But split grip. Nobody would be split grip and, ha and ever have any kind of complaint about, I can't get open. Like, right, exactly right. So why is split grip so good? Okay, well, split grip works as a feel only. Okay. Because big, big, big misnomer that you're supposed to hold this angle through okay. impact. Okay. So simple question. If I move, hypothetically, if I'm moving my arms and body as fast as I can, is the club going to be moving faster going this way or going that way? Going this way. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, okay. you, you can speed it up that way, yeah. People do under, everyone says, oh, this is a gross, scoopy, flippy motion. Yeah. Yes, it is, if everything else isn't working correctly. This is not the fault. Right. If everything freezes and this, ha this uncouples, then it's gross. Then it's gross. Right. But th th this, is this is just data that you just can't refute. They measured 100, AMM, Phil Cheatham measured 150 tour players. I was like five or six years ago. I don't remember exactly when it went with his state-of-the-art 3D system that never took hold because it was just too expensive mm -hmm. for pros to have it. Yeah, the one with all the wires out the back? Yeah. Yes, okay, and what he found that 100, as hard as it is to believe, 149 out of 150 tour players from here to there are moving this way. Mm -hmm. Daniel Berger is the only one that's actually oh, going okay. like that. And as you well know, Daniel Berger, while being an amazing player, doesn't have the most classic, easy to perform golf swing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dustin Johnson, um, Jordan Spieth. I mean, he's firing the crap out of that thing. Yeah. Even Here's, like a ROM with crazy legs. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you're not, what people are missing is, is that you go this way, you're going this way Early. from here to there, then unloading it. A good golf swing is essentially two things. And the first one is how Charles Barkley got, got I don't want to say fixed, he's much better, by Stan Utley. The, Stan has a great U, uh, Instagram video, how he talked about how he solved Barkley's problems. Barkley was trying to get lag, and that's mm -hmm. how he got that yippy swing. Yeah, in transition, he was like. Right. Because I think he tried pump drill for a while. Right, exactly yeah. right. In all good golf swings, you unload the vertical hinge, then you unload the horizontal hinge. So this is the vertical hinge, and this is the horizontal hinge. So everybody's trying to hold lag and force left, left wrist bend, lead wrist bend at impact mm -hmm. to get shaft lean, and that's pretty much the opposite of what every good player does. Okay. Bryson DeChambeau had a, had a video um, where 
uh, you can't quite hear what he's saying, but you can see him demonstrating it. He's like, you know, unload the vertical hinge to here and then unload the horizontal hinge over there. Vertical hinge is this? Yes. Okay, and horizontal hinge is right. this? So this is the vertical hinge. Sw switch spots with you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the vertical hinge. Uh-huh. So this, I'm, I'm here. So right. that's unloading the vertical. That's unloading uh -huh. the vertical. And uh -huh. the horizontal hinge is that one. Oh, okay. So I'm this way. Correct. And then I'm this way. Correct. Now. Yeah. Vilko Ninovar, the, the, the new guy. He, okay. he finished his swing like this. Like this. And, so uh, does Dustin. Arn and the Arnold Palmer statue in Bay Hill. He's right. like that. Yeah. Dustin Johnson, same thing. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, is everyone's going, well, how is that freaking possible mm -hmm. when you see all of these players with all of this face on lag here and all of this shaft lean. Yeah. Well, they're sequencing their bodies correctly. So those angles are unloading okay. extremely okay. at an extremely slow rate. So you don't see it visually because there's multiple forces. Okay. But when you measure what the wrists are doing, you're here, you're here, then it unloads this way, then it unloads that way. And people trying to hold those angles it works in reverse too. If you're holding those angles, then you throw off your body sequencing, then you dump them all at once at the uh -huh. bottom and then it looks crappy. Okay, so I think, I'm, I think I'm making the full circle in my mind now. So when you do, going back to split grip, when you do split grip, the wrong way to think about it is that look how much shaft lean I, I have when I'm doing split grip. And you got to really think you're doing split grip in order to learn how the body should move. Yes. Not, it's not a wrist angle okay. kind of thing. It, it, go, it works backwards. Okay. If you have a split grip and you go like this, you'll, you, you're cooked. Yeah. If you have a split grip, this is automatically going to happen. And if your body doesn't work correctly, you're never going to get to the task at hand, okay. shoveling, chopping, sweeping, okay. whatever. Okay. So that's what the split grip does is. You can't hold the horizontal hinge with a split grip. Okay. You just can't, you know. You're forced to move your body correctly, so releasing the horizontal. Yeah, not with any speed, yeah, once you have. Right. Yeah. Right. So show us the right way to do a split grip drill, like okay. how people I mean, should be standing on the range thinking about this. There, there's really no right way, mm -hmm. okay, but it, 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 when you get the split grip, if you try to make a full swing, you're probably going to hurt yourself. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, and basically, all you want to do is just get up here and just go, okay? And feel that, you, and that's the other benefit of it. You see, I hit the ball dead straight and it came out low. You can feel the proper unloading of the right wrist and the extension of the lead wrist. Yeah, I saw you do that. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. When their hands are closer together. So you together. shouldn't be trying to hold anything no, with split no. grip. Because oh. watch. So that sometimes I'll see split grip guys trying that and they'll go. Yeah, that looks awful yeah. and you'll hurt yourself. Okay. And notice you hit about a foot behind the ball right. word. So everybody can see. That swing was wonderful. Shallow angle of attack at down 1.7. Club path and face angle were almost zeroed out. Ball went dead straight. And the swing looked pretty good. Okay? Yeah. And where's the launch? Uh, we don't have a oh, launch 17.4. Which launch, and what's the what's the seven loft iron? Of, so so the, the, that's like a 30 degree. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the launch on that club? Um, the, 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 my seven my irons are are a little bit weak. So this is 36. So what I'm saying is is that that's the two things that are always the hardest thing to match up is to have a shallow path with shaft lean. Correct. You know because there's people that can have a shallow path but they they stand exactly it up. right. Like, exactly and then there's right. other people that can get it steep. But you, they can get it, um, I'm sorry, they can get a Lean, low launch, but, but, but face and path but are all over the place. Yeah, the, yeah, uh, it's a steep angle path of attack. Path goes yeah. straight down. So, so everybody can there. see that that little swing I made looked pretty good. Yeah, it did. Now, look at how awkward it looks when I hold the angle. See, I couldn't mm -hmm. even keep my balance. And look, I was much steeper. And look, there you go. The face was 10 degrees open to the path, mm -hmm. okay? And I almost missed the ball. Yeah. Okay, so that is the biggest mistake that amateurs try and do. Let me try that, Monty. When they flip the angles, uh -huh. when they cast the angles, they feel like, oh, I gotta hold it. You're unloading the angles incorrectly because of a different problem. So you should feel okay doing this and letting it go. That's way too big of a swing. Okay. You're, you, you gotta be careful you don't hurt yourself. Like that, right? Yep. 
like this. It's just kind of like uh, belt to belt and with, with some letting it go. Yep. Okay, try that. Excellent. Yeah, it was nice. See? Mm -hmm. Nice and neutral. Golf instruction has, for a hundred years, has been about, okay, this is no good. This is what hacks do. Pros do something else. Yeah. And it turns into, well, if this is bad, the opposite must be good. No. The opposite is equally bad. What we're looking right. for is the middle ground. And there's like an, a shame and an, an embarrassment factor for golfers, too. Just like, oh, I don't want to... I don't want people to call me over the top, so I'm going to do like, Drop the Drop the right shoulder and yeah. have a big two-way miss. Yeah, just yeah. To, to try the opposite of that. Yeah. yeah, the opposite of bad is also bad. Yeah. Yeah. So for the split hand grip, just, just to recap, don't be – it's not a holding thing. It's a body sequencing, and it also is – it does help your wrist, but you got to be kind of supple with it and, and you, be slow. Exactly right. If you try to make a full swing with this – Mm -hmm. you're not going to have too much fun. It's literally like you said, right. from belt high to belt high in both directions. Yeah, I don't do good with percentages. Like somebody says, like swing 50% or, or even with the clock system, I don't do good. I do do good with distances. Like if you tell me this ball can only carry 50 yards, like that carried 50 yards. I would say that was what I did would, would and, be about max. And, yeah. and that, that's, that's a great comment. And when I give lessons, I immediately see, give me a little half swing here. Doesn't do work. That, yeah. Okay. Hit this ball 50 yards, then it works. Right. You have to find and what And for me, it's got to be like the price is right, where like a dollar over is not, you know, it, it disqualified. So 51 yards would, be, would right. be out of the game. And, that, and yeah. that's the way you have to do it for yourself. You say, okay, I'm going to try this. Doesn't work. Keep changing until you get something that works. Right. You guys can find out more about Monty over on Instagram. It's probably the best way to personally connect with him or on his website, which is really good. And it's got a whole bunch of stuff, including the Broom Force, which we talked about a little here. And uh, uh, we have more videos coming out with Monty. So click the subscribe button to this channel, go over Monty's YouTube channel as well, and subscribe there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.